Welcome, my name is Lauren and I'd like to show you how I decorate the bowl that sits under my chandelier for Christmas. You can check out my video on how to decorate the chandelier as well. Have fun and here we go. We know this box is old because Hudson's hasn't existed for years. But inside I have all kinds of ivory ornaments and that is what our starting point will be for the bowl under the chandelier. So let's get started. This bowl sits under my dining room chandelier. In it I had some shred and a couple other glass bulbs that were already in. I'm going to leave those just to take up some space as we put in the different bulbs. I haven't decided for sure yet. Most of these ornaments in here are going to be the ivory ones, but I have used these gold ones in the past and I have used the blues as well and mixed them together. And though I really do like that, I think this year I'm going to stick with the ivories. So I will take them, fill up the spaces. I'll start with the bigger ones first. If I find a blemish on, I will just hide that and make that face down. This one has some cracks. These are about 27 years old, so I've had them for a while used many different times. So again, just face that inside. Nobody will know the difference. I'll start to use the smaller bulbs in these other spots. I'll start filling in. Don't forget we're going to be filling in with some pine cones, some more of those tallow berries that I used on my chandelier here. So I'm gonna stop there. I still have a few more, but let's see what we need when we add the tallow berries. I have my little grouping of tallow berries, which I will just stick right in between some of these. If you can, it doesn't, isn't always necessary, but try to have an odd number of some of your groupings. It just tends to be more pleasing to the eye if you can do that. Sometimes we don't have a choice. Sometimes an odd number will still work just fine. I'm going to lift this one ball up and then replace it so I can set that in here. Got a few pine cones, which again, they have gold paint on them and then the real light glitter. So I can place those in some of the openings as well. Things can overlap. Put one on the back side. And these little individual pieces, I'm just going to go right ahead and tuck a few of those in. I have some very tiny little bulbs. They are about an inch, maybe inch and a half. So I will use those to fill in. Any empty spots that I have at this point until I run out, of course. On the back side. Again, step back, take a look. If there's anything you don't like, you can always redo. I'm just going to keep it very simple this year. I added a few snippets of incense cedar to the bowl. It'll dry out within a few days, but perfect if you are having a party. The same day just to add a little bit of liveliness to it goes perfectly well with our chandelier which we could add some of those to that as well bring a nice smell to your room and to your arrangements enjoy your day and enjoy your time creating thank you thanks for following along today can't wait to see the creations that you make. You're welcome to share them with me at Lauren at LaurenRadkeyArt.com. And I hope you had fun. Good luck.